So the three pillars of body, mind, spirit integration. We want to plug in to the big chi. We do that by first establishing our central equilibrium. So you feel the balls of your feet, unlock the knees and feel your, your weight centering over the balls of your feet. Relax your lower back and allow your sacrum to drop and your pelvis to level out. You know, flatten your, your lumbar area of your spine as you do that. And when you do that, you also want to check in and make sure that you haven't rocked back into your heels just by, by allowing your sacrum to drop. You want to still feel that, that connection through the balls of your feet. You want to reach with the crown of your head and tuck in the chin and open the jade pillow gate at the base of the neck. Just pause a moment, just feel into that. And feel what that is. You're sinking into the earth through your feet, simultaneously reaching up with the crown of your head. You're establishing poles in opposition. The yang pole of your head reaching up, the yin pole of your feet reaching down and you're creating this extension and you're creating energy flow as a result of it. Now, push away from the earth, kind of come up as if you're rising up and then sink down, spiral down into your left leg and then into your right, just, so you want to get you want to soften the hip joints so that your hips are sung. That is, you're, you're sinking and you're releasing the tension in your legs that pushes away from the earth. And there, thereby freeing up the hip joints, allowing you to move more freely and to have more stability. Reach out with your elbows a little bit. Your arms are slightly rounded so that your shoulders are relaxed and open. And for our purposes today, I want you to feel your fingertips as though you have claws in your, where your fingernails are. And you're kind of grabbing with the claws and feel the instantaneous response in your hands as you, as you do that. You're activating the tensegrity of your connective tissue system as you do that. So your whole body gets connected up into one unified uh, organism, one unified system. In the Taiji Tran Jing, the, uh, uh, one of the oldest Taiji documents, it's sometimes credited to Zhong, Zhong, um, uh, uh, I forget. Um, anyway, so it's uh, one of the oldest documents, but uh, it, it says that the body must always be connected throughout. And so what we do, how we do that is we activate the tensegrity of the connective tissue system. So, um, so just want to feel the energy in your hands and your feet as you, as you do that and feel that connection throughout the whole body mind. So right now we're, we've opened the big, the energy gates through the feet, through the crown of the head to the palms of the hands, and we're exchanging energy with the environment. So we're no longer a closed system. That is the, it's not, we're not limited by the chi that's within our, within our skin, but we're plugging into the big chi. So feel those, feel those fingernails, your, those claws, and Bend the wrists, so you just slide. So you're you're like that. You're bending your your finger. Your wrists come up. Your fingers go down. So very gently, 
and just feel immediately how that activates the chi, how it gets chi moving. And then reach with your wrists, reach with your elbows. And by doing that, you're unlocking the shoulders. You're opening up the shoulder joints. And just bring your wrists up to chest height. Your elbows are relaxed. They're, they're reaching, but they're also down. And then reach with the fingers and open. And as you do that, you're reaching out and feel between your shoulder blades, feel that connection. So what we're doing is we're really establishing that whole body connection. So you wanna feel your feet with your fingers. You wanna feel your toes with the top of your head. Everything is responding instantaneously throughout the whole system. Now reach down with your elbows and bend the wrists the other way, lifting the fingers and hands come down. And just pause a moment and feel into the energy that's being amplified in your body mind. Start with your hands and your fingers and just feel into that. And then you can kind of, once you get the sense of that, once that becomes real to you, then you can start to trace that same quality, that same insubstantial quality throughout the whole body. So bend the wrists, feel those fingernails, bend the wrists, and then reach with the wrists, relax your elbows, reach, but reaching with it so you're reaching um, and opening the shoulders, coming up to to chest height and then reach with the fingers and open, reaching out and feel the pull between your shoulder blades. So now we're going to begin with our uh, reviewing what we did with the, with the diagonal flying last week. So first we're going to start very simply by lowering the right hand and feel the ball of your left foot and you set the left knee and spiral down to the left. So you're loading up into the left leg. Now feel the ball of the right foot Set the right knee, spiral down to the left. So you're loading up the right leg and then turn. And as you turn, you want to feel the left hand pulling, reaching with the left elbow. Reach with the right elbow, right wrist, and feel the right hand pulling. So feel those two arms, hands moving in opposite directions. You only want to go about halfway out here, just so you want to feel into that and feel that the splitting energy or the rending energy that um, that gets produced by this. These poles and oppositions are generating a flow. And then continue reach with the wrist of the right hand and turn and extend out and just open. So you're reaching with the, with the right arm, the right elbow, right wrist, fingers. Same thing with the left arm. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the right. And as you do that, left hand comes under your navel, the right hand, facing the left hand. Now feel the ball of the left foot, 
Set the left knee and spiral down to the right. So you're loading up the left leg now and turn and feel that pull, feel those poles in opposition. Feel them reaching even if you're not moving. The right hand pulling back, the right elbow pulling back, the left elbow and the left wrist, the left hand reaching out. And then continue. And open. You feel like there's a big rubber band between the two hands. You're stretching that rubber band. And that's only one of the, the, the energies that's going on there. That's, that's inside the hands and then, but external to that, there's also a reaching out. There's an extension outward. So we've defined it by the relationship between the hands and also the relationship to the space around me, right? So we get, we have these two pulling and there's an extension, but there's also a pulling apart. So both of those paradoxically are happening at the same time. So people have requested that I, I turn my back and do it, uh, do it uh, this way so people can follow along. So let's, uh, let's just go through that with my back to you. So, Start with your left, left leg, your left ball, set the left knee, you spiral down to the left. So you're loading up the left claw, the left leg, and you're holding the left, the right hand under the navel, and the left hand facing the right hand. Now feel the ball of the right foot, you set the right knee and spiral down into the claw. So you're loading up the claw, you're spiraling down to the left. And feel those fingernails, reach with your elbows, and then reach with the wrists as you turn. And feel those holes in opposition. Feel them expanding outward, but also feel them pulling against each other. And continue. And feel the activity happening in your arms as you're doing that. And feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the right. Left hand under the navel, right hand facing, palm down. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. So you're loading up the left claw now. You're sinking into the left leg, still reaching up with the crown of the head, still reaching out with the elbows, and, and then turn, reach with the elbows, the wrists. Feel those two poles pulling apart. Stop and just feel into that. Feel the feel the tug there. And continue and open. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to take a step with this. So starting, feel the ball, set the knee, the left leg, and spiral down to the left. The left hand comes up, right hand under the navel. So you're, notice how vertical my body is. I'm not leaning. Also, I'm not, my butt's not sticking out to the side. I'm spiraling down. So there's um, releasing down into that 
left leg. So notice my body turns as it sinks. And this winds up the, uh, the, the waist so you can get this, you can get this power to, to move to the right there. So you're spiraling down to the left. So then bring your left foot in so that it's very close to your right foot and you're just lightly on the toe of your left foot. Reaching with the elbows, the wrists, feel that, reaching with the crown of the head. So you want to really get comfortable with almost all your weight there in your left leg. You want to feel that. And the only way we can really get there is by spiraling down into the quad. So you're releasing the hip joint and the muscles around that so that now we can turn and step with the right foot. So you're stepping out on a 45 degree angle and placing the foot down. So you're still in that left leg, you're, you're, you're reaching out with that right foot. You haven't done anything with it yet. It's an empty step. So it's, we haven't loaded it yet at all. All we've done with the right leg now is establish our position. And this spiraling down to the left, all that did was it permitted me to be able to really feel comfortable and rooted and step out without having to lunge or, or fall out. I'm, able to reach out and reach back and reach out very comfortably without having to adjust my position. I'm stepping out on a 45. Now I feel the ball of the right foot. I'm gonna push my right knee out, still spiraling down and, and then spiral down to the left. So as I push the knee out, I set that and then I release the right claw and turn Spiral down to the left, so I'm loading up. So what I'm going to be doing is this. I'm going to be moving to the right. So I want to first load up to the left. And this is where we're, we're cocking the gun. We're pulling back the, the arrow, the, the, the bowstring for the for the for the the bow and arrow so we want we want to load that up here and feel that connection so the arms the hands feel those fingernails still we're this is going to maintain the continuity throughout the whole system the connection the energetic connection throughout because now we're going to as we sink into that right leg, now we're gonna turn. And without bobbing up, without pushing away, we're gonna just stay down, but we're gonna start reaching, separating with the elbows. And the wrists, feel those fingernails. Pause and feel those poles in opposition. Feel the, feel the load in your right leg. You're sinking into that right quad, you're sinking in that right leg. And then continue, reach, 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 opening. Opening the shoulders, feeling that expansion. Open the chest. Reach with the crown of the head. You're about 70% in your right leg now and feel that, that expansion there. So by opening and lengthening like this, we're really stretching that rubber band. We're pulling back the bowstring. We're, we're creating a very powerful pathway for the energy to travel. And it also has the structural integrity that comes with really activating the connective tissue system. So this is the most young part of the, the movement here. We're feeling with that, that young expression with the right hand and the yin support of the left hand. 
And now we're going to dissolve that. And we're going to give the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, and spiral down into the quad of the right, the right quad, the right leg, and bring the hands in. So left hand under the navel. We're loading up that right quad. Right hand, right palm faces left palm. Reaching with the elbows, opening the shoulders, opening the chest, feeling the fingernails. And then sink into that right quad and step in with the left foot. So here we are, we're loading up, really getting confident in the power of our right leg, our ability to hold that position powerfully, securely, so that we can gracefully extend the left foot. So now we sink into that right quad, so that permits us to step out with the left foot on a 45. Let me step back here. So I'm able to, if I'm here like this, I can step out. If I don't spiral down like that, if I'm here like this and I just rock over to the right side and I try to step out, my foot can't, I can't establish a position there because my leg's not long enough. I can't telescope it out there. So I have to go down to meet the floor. So I do that by uh, spiraling down. So then, oh, I can then, I can put my heel down now. If I'm up here, my heel is several inches above the floor. And so I can't, I can't really make that, that graceful step. So what I end up doing is I just kind of lunge into it and I've lost my root, I've lost my energetic connection if I do that. So this is the transition here. This is important for every move in Tai Chi Chuan and it's particularly important for this one. We feel the ball, we set the knee, we spiral down, bring the foot in and then we're, we're loading up that quad so we can then step out gracefully. So do that, step back, step out, step back, and do it with a minimum amount of movement in your, in your body. So once you have that, you establish your, your foot position. You feel the ball of your left foot now. And feel the ball, you push the left knee out and you set that. So we're just establishing the position yet uh, so far with the left leg now. And now we're going to oh, spiral down to the right. So we're loading up that left quad, softening, sung, we're releasing down, down. At the same time, reaching up with the crown. So what are we doing? We're opening up this yin chi of the earth and the yang chi of the heavens coming through. And so now, oh, we need to have a structure which is strong enough to be able to to handle this much chi, we have to have the, the structural integrity. So we do that by having our qua open. We're able to make that step. We're able to wind up. And now we reach with the elbows and fingernails, feel those fingernails. And then you open by turning the body, reaching with the elbows, reaching with the wrists, Feel those poles in opposition. The body turns very slowly and gradually to the left as you open. Open, open, open. Left hand is yang now, right hand is yin. The whole posture is very yang, it's very expansive and open but the yin component of the, the sung kwa, the legs, everything sinking down, allows that to balance out the yang of the expression. Because without that, without that yin in the, in the structure, this would have no power. But now you can feel into your hands, you can feel into your, into your arms, you can feel that connection throughout, that reaching outward, allows for this to have a structural integrity that uh, is 
uh, really surprising when you actually apply it. So now feel the ball of the left foot, you set the left knee, and then we're going back to yin. And spiraling down, spiraling down into the left claw and loading up again. Feel the difference in the energy now. We're compact, we're pulling in, we're contracting. And that's what yin does, it contracts so that we bring the foot in. Ah, and just feel that, feel your central equilibrium as you maintain your posture, the verticality over that left leg. Let's now we're going to spiral down to the left and then reach out with the right foot. Step back, just feel that. So you want to be able to have that, be able to have that extension there. So let me, uh, let me do it with my back to you so you can follow along that way. So here we are, we're getting the ball of the left foot, you set the left knee, you spiral down to the left, reach with the elbows, reach with, feel those fingernails, you're loading up. Notice how my butt is not outside of my, my foot, it's loaded up here. I'm feeling the connection in the, uh, in the ball of my foot. And then I step in with my, my right foot so that I can be very centered, relaxed in my left leg. So then now I can pick up my right foot and step out and establish a position with my foot without having to load it. I'm still stably in my left leg. Now I'm gonna feel the ball of the right foot, push my right knee out, set that. And then I'm gonna activate my right claw and release down, spiral down without moving my knee. My hands are still over my center line. Loading up that right claw. And now I turn, I reach with the, the elbows, feel those fingernails, and I reach with the wrists. Opening, feel the hands pulling apart, those poles in opposition. Reaching, body turning as you reach. Extend and open. Feel the arms opening, the chest opening, shoulders opening, everything expansive, young. Now feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the right, and we're going to yin now. Step in with the left foot and establish your position in your right leg. Really get nice and secure there. You pick up your left foot and step out on the, on the 45. Left ball, push your left knee out and set that. Spiral down into your left claw. So you're loading up and turning to the right, you're spiraling down to the right. Notice how wide, how open your groin is. Your, everything gets, is very expansive here. This allows the, the energy of the earth to come up through the yin channels in your legs. It activates the hui yin, the uh, point between your genitals and your anus, that is the, it's the, the foundation point for your torso, for all the energy in your torso. You're reaching with those elbows, you're feeling, you're gonna start to turn, and as you turn, feel the elbows pulling apart. And you don't have to go very far, just, just feel, just feel that 
the energy that gets activated by that, that pulling, that reaching, and turn, 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 turn. Open, open, open. Want your left palm up, your right palm down. Energetically, the, the yin hand is receiving from the earth, the yang hand from the heavens. But if you pay attention, you can feel into the palms of your hands and you can feel the loud gong points there, which uh, major energy gates. And you can feel the activity that's going on in the palms of your hands. Cool. So, so from there, then bring your hands down. And just pause and feel into the energy that gets generated by this by these actions we've been performing. So that's we're doing it nice and big there. Now we're going to do it small, just a couple of times here. So if you the ball of the left foot, set the left knee spiral down to the to the right, you're loading up the left claw and then just pull, reach with your elbows, reach with your fingers, your, your wrists without going very far. Just feel the, the power that's even in that very small movement. Now feel the ball of your right foot, set the right knee spiral down to the left, rotate your palms and then open and feel those poles in opposition, nice and small. So this is how we get, refine our Kung Fu. We start big and get smaller, smaller, smaller to a point where it's barely noticeable. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right, even smaller. And then turn. Almost no movement at all. Reach with the elbows. So everything's reaching without reaching. There's no physical extension or very little, yet we're, we're using our our uh, mind intent, our E, to, to make that happen. And who's guiding that? It's you, the, your, your Shen. You as a spirit, you're guiding body and mind and creating these effects. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee spiral down to the left and turn and open. Rotate so both palms are facing each other. And here you're going to feel into potentiality without moving. So the potentiality is, is this, right? Boom. But we're not going to move. We're just going to feel into that potentiality in the, in the arm. So that it's there as a recreatable potential of energy. and just feel into it going either right or left, big or small, but without moving. And you bring your hands down.
and feel into the yin of this posture. Feel the energy in your hands circulating throughout the whole body. Allow that energy to do what it needs to do. Step in. Take a deep breath. Gather the chi and then throw it all away. Dispose of it, disappear it, empty out. And trust that there is an infinite supply there just waiting for you to tap into it anytime you like. 